Welcome to the vlog. 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 Welcome to the fucking vlog, season two. Welcome to the vlog. As soon as I woke up on Monday, I knew I had to edit the vlog from last week because I didn't do it the night before, and I know it's pathetic, but then I played Sims in the morning, and then I had to go meet up with Emma and Gia, and it was so cold outside, busing there was kind of unbearable except for the fact that I saw a baby corgi. Once we got to Emma's house, we just hung out. Gia was wanting to make it to France without getting COVID, so she we all kept our masks on, but we had a fun little afternoon together. We made some spiked hot chocolate with some of the souvenirs that Gia had, and we also ordered sushi. Emma was nice enough to give us a ride home and to save me from the cold and the busing, and I did some shopping for my grandparents once I got back to the West End. I just ended my shopping for my grandparents and now I am continuing the whole shopping thing to do some more for the pizza tonight and my parents. Negative eight outside right now. And honestly, I'm bundled up well enough that as long as I am only outside for like short periods of time, it's fine. But the minute it like crawls above 30 minutes of being outside, that's when it becomes like painful, I guess. Also, got a mic. I hope the sound quality is better for like my little outdoor vlogging scenes. Oh, we've got a mic! Testing, testing, one, two, four. Since it was so cold out, the pizzas didn't rise as much as they usually do. I mean, they still tasted and looked good, but they they didn't have as much um, thickness as they usually do. But look, this one kind of got a bubble at some point. And then after the pizza, I went on a call with some of the girls and I also booked my end test, which was nice. And towards the end, everyone brought out their cats. It was so cute. The day is finally over. I need to get some stuff done tomorrow. I want to work out. I didn't work out today, so I'm hoping I can work out tomorrow. Being on that Zoom call with everyone was fun. I really missed them. We were supposed to do like a little sleepover trash mess thing today, and that obviously didn't happen because of the Omicron variant. It feels like everybody's getting COVID right now, <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can like stay healthy. I want to be able to just live my life right now. Started off my morning with some blueberries and I also did some editing for the vlog. Once I was done with that, I headed out to do some groceries for my grandparents and then I went on a walk. Okay, so I'm supposed to hang out with Molly today just for a little bit, so I am gonna walk to Be Fresh to meet up with her. It remains a very cold season. I'm walking by a fountain and everything is frozen over. Look at that, that is just freezing. It's all ice. Obviously, except for the parts that are flowing. I feel like it takes so much energy to just stay warm right now. It was a nice little 5k to get to be fresh and I saw a lot of cute geese. Yes, I'm using cute to describe geese. This is the one time you'll hear me say it. Then me and Molly thought we weren't going to be able to get peaceful. So we were uh, starting to throw a pity party, but then we called and we were able to get it in time. We got We got dandan dan noodles, forest vegetables, and mapo tofu. It was all so delicious and filling. I don't like to tell people I'm vegan because it's an expression of anti-capitalism. It's my defense mechanism. Molly created the best atmosphere for lunch. It was so delicious. We finished every single okay. thing. Once we were done everything, we decided to walk back into the West End to try and digest some of the food, and that was really fun. I got a big day of walking in, and then once I got home, I got to live vicariously through my Sims. I am on my way to Kiara's house. Shoot, I'm gonna meet her outside. We're gonna go ice skating. So the skating rink was a little too crowded, so we left and went on our own walk instead, and I got home and had some blueberries. Going skiing with Rowan today. I don't really know what to expect. I feel like people hate cross country skiing the first time they do it. I'm hoping he likes it, but it is very cold outside and it is not an easy sport. So we'll see. He's a very optimistic person, so I actually do think it's possible for him to have a good time. Ready to go? I'm ready. We drove up courtesy of Rowan and we got to the mountain and big props to him for this whole ski he did absolutely amazing like i have never seen somebody who just started skate skiing be so positive and do so well how do you feel 
<laughs> yeah, I hope it didn't scare him off. I hope we can all go uh, in the new year. And I came home, warmed up with a bath, watched some YouTube before heading off to my grandparents for supper. After supper, Turner came over and I made him a little pasta dish. It was just like a garlic pasta. Okay, let's see, try it. It just tastes like butter noodles. I like butter noodles. They're my favorite type. Mm. Mm. Flavor's good. He didn't want to say it on camera, but he didn't think the linguine was cooked well enough and we watched some Dexter afterwards and the snow really started to come down. Turner slept until like 12 and in the meantime Molly came over and me and her did some shopping for our grandparents and that was fun. They really enjoyed seeing her and then he finally got up and we made a bit of a lunch and then he drove us up to Bird and Robson and me and Molly were going off to see Zoe and Talia. We went on a really fun walk together. It was nice because I hadn't seen either of them since the summer. We saw the cutest bunny in the world. I literally wanted to kidnap it and take it home. I know that it's not good for them to be this close to us, but it was so cute. I literally can't help myself. I think bunnies are the cutest animals in the world, second to corgis. I can't help it. The walk was very cold, but still worth it, and it was nice to spend some time with Molly as well. And then we got home and chilled in front of the fireplace. Molly even attempted to do an eight minute plank. I was very impressed with her, but it was obviously very painful. Nicole came over and we watched Pirates of the Caribbean. That was fun. and. The next day I woke up and I felt great. I made my bed, I worked out, I chilled and edited for a bit, and I even played Sims and had lunch. In order to get maybe something done on this final day of 2021, I am gonna go on a walk. Not really sure where I'm gonna go. Just gonna put in my headphones and relax. Oh, I should get a new audiobook. Georgia recommended me a book by Colleen Hoover, so. I think I'll just get that and listen to that. I had such a nice walk. It was the most beautiful day. I walked through downtown and I saw the cutest, fattest pigeon. It's just for now. And as we can see, it's still light out until the sun's about to set, but it's encouraging that there's already a bit of a difference in light since last week. I think that that's a good sign successful walk I'd say. Him and my family all had dinner together and it was a super nice occasion. On this fine New Year's Eve I will be staying home again except I think it'll be better than last year in terms of the hangover tomorrow because I don't really plan on drinking. I don't feel like it. I don't think anything special is gonna happen. Trying to figure out what I want to do right now. I was thinking of going on YouTube, but like seeing YouTube is just like everyone recapping their 2021. And like, I like, I feel bad because like, I don't really want to. It's like not like a bad thing to do some reflection on the past year, but I just like, nah, nope, I'm not doing that today. So now I kind of just want to get off of YouTube, but I don't really know what to do. I could play Sims. That doesn't that seem like kind of bad to like live through your sims. I understand that like that's all maybe that's the whole point of the game, but we're being honest. I I wish I had like a really strong sleeping pill and I could just like wake up tomorrow and not have to deal with any of this. Last year was like easier in some sense because everyone like was planning on doing like, Zoom calls or doing something fun like that, but not this year, it just feels pretty lonely. I don't really, I know I could just like text people and stuff like that, but I just like, I feel, I get so much anxiety thinking about like asking people right now. I started season four and five of Working Moms and finished it all. one. Happy New Year.
very anticlimactic, but I started the first day of the year off good. I had a bunch of tea. I watched some video essays. Okay, I'm about to go to my grandparents. I feel like I'm in such a slump, but I don't know. I'm kind of loving this like winter flannel fit. I mean, it's nothing special, but at least I don't feel like I look like shit. Not that like how you look should really dictate how you feel about yourself, but it does help that I feel good. I went for lunch at my grandparents and that was really nice. We watched Hawkeye together and then it was time for me to go on a walk with my friends. That was really nice. It was full of nature and snow and it was nice to see everyone in person for a bit. It was probably the last time I'll see Gia before she heads off to Paris. So that was fun. We were putting pine cones in Kiara's hood because she didn't bring a bag. I am just going through my old journal from, and I have an entry from January 1st, 2020. I'm actually like shocked by what's on this page. I need to be more mindful this year. People don't treat me the way they need to. It often makes me feel very alone. Frankly, I am tired of other people blaming bad circumstances for their behavior. I had fun today. I felt like I was in high school. It felt so good to just be done with my friends. I hope more moments like this are to come. I put a lot into healing and processing last year, and I need to get better. A part of me is like, have I changed at all? If I'm writing this shit there, and I feel it now? Are you joking? Like, are you serious? Well... This is the last year that I'm gonna feel this way. Mark my words, January 1st, 2023. I won't feel like this. My mom put together a yummy dinner. We all ate together. Hi, I've just been in bed for the last two hours. There is nothing to do and I don't wanna be productive. So this is it. This is what I'm doing. It's all right, but it's not interesting. I'm putting together a project for my two years of vlogging so i had to go through old footage i made myself breakfast i worked out and then i decided to go for a walk and once i got home i uh, found out bad news about my dad he is sick with covid which i will talk about later but once i found that out i went into the kitchen and did some cooking and made a really nice salad what's up you guys so my dad has covid they got back on friday morning and they were exposed tuesday wednesday and so far i feel fine my mom feels fine i'm hoping that i don't feel anything so far he feels fine like he feels like he has a sore throat and everything but like he's okay yeah that's fun um day two of 2022 Woohoo! you know it's not a breakdown though you know what i mean like we're okay Cheers to that. Played Sims for a bit and then hopped on a call with my friends to play code names and just talk to each other. Okay, ended my call with my friends and that went really well. I don't know why I did the thumbs up. I'm really sorry. We're saying bye to Gia. She's moving to Paris. Well, I probably have COVID. I don't feel sick, but my dad is sick and that sucks. It's fine though. I don't know if it's fine, but I hope that, oh, fucking Christ, sorry. Well, all I can hope for is that uh, my dad makes a speedy recovery, that my grandparents stay okay, and that I don't develop symptoms or anything. I'm hoping like when I wake up tomorrow, things will be okay. Great start to the year. Hopefully, things only go up. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.